When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do. But at what cost? Don't get upset. It's not worth getting upset over. I do. It actually is worth getting upset over. <laughs> actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are $125 a person. We have like 200 guests. No, that's not even a point of discussion. This is a thing giving me stress right now. You pick a big theme wedding, well, then your list of possible problems gets longer. Weddings are a gown from a time long ago. Weddings are a bridal party who put on a show. Weddings have costs that grow and grow. Meet newlyweds Isabella and David. Creating their dream wedding meant traveling back a few hundred years. Let's follow this couple as they recreate a time in the past while paying the prices of the present. My name is Isabella and I'm a 30-year-old teacher. I met David, a software developer, eight years ago when we worked together. It wasn't long before I found myself totally attracted to everything about him. This is the story of how we went back in time and created our Venetian-themed wedding. Our wedding day was... The bomb. Something. Yeah, it was awesome. It fulfilled a dream that is still true to my heart. It was a fantasy come true. Their wedding may have been a fantasy come true, but let's turn back the clock and see if this couple were left in awe of each other or at odds with their finances. My expectation was for the wedding planner to come in, see what I've done, and just take over those responsibilities. My expectation um, of him was to take that list and see, make sure everything was proper with it and make sure we weren't missing anything or going overboard on certain things. Oh. Meet David Conley. With his 15 years of experience and unstoppable energy, will he be able to bring this couple's elegant vision to life without leaving them at the poorhouse? My role as a wedding planner is to take the uh, a couple's idea and make it a reality. So that means schedule, it means budget, and sometimes it means taking really big ideas and making them more focused so that uh, the money and the time is spent wisely. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you. Tell me about your day. Tell me about the vision, the overall con concept of the day. 18th century. Yeah, that's, I think that's what we're going to go for. It's, it's something that I've always loved, OK? Like, I love Venice. I'm one of those girls that loves to watch those movies. You know, the movies of, like, uh, the period days where they were all the women were dressed, you know, in these elegant caught in these elegant dresses right of that time so i really want to bring that in to like 2007 into our wedding okay so the idea 18th century so we want 18th century like a venetian masked ball that's task. huge that's so exciting this is an enormous theme like do you know what it means like have you thought it all the way through to i've thought it all the way through is it going to be ceremony in a church or yeah we've already picked the church it's it's a church that i um go to Quite often, yes. Okay, and then is there a reception venue yet? Yes. Yes, yes. We uh, okay. we found a place that I think suits the theme very nicely as it is. It's been uh, redecorated recently, so it's very nice. Yeah, it's perfect. And sure. does it fit in with your theme, or oh, are we going to totally. have to do a lot of work? You know what? There is going to have to be work done for sure, because but not otherwise. A lot. Well, there's going to have to be work done. And what's the capacity? Like, do you know what your guest count is yet? 150, 160? Well, I think we'll probably looking at closer to 200. Well, I think we'll try to bring it as low as possible. In a theme this big, you can go so far with things like decor and wardrobe and music and all mm -hmm. of it. And I'm getting the sense that that's how you want to do yours. Yes. And so let's start with wardrobe. Like, how are you going to express your theme through clothes? I want to go all the way back to the day. I want to bring it all the way back. Are you, are you talking traditional you're costumes? You're talking, yes, you're talking the breeches. So the men wore breeches with the high socks, the high knee socks. Um, mm. You know, they wore the ruffled shirt. Are you going to ask your guests to do that or your bridal party? You know, or? I would love for my guests to. No, I'm not going to say it's mandatory, mm -hmm. but it would be, you know, really nice. We haven't really told the bridal party yet about uh, the theme. Well, they have, like, you know, a little rough idea that we want to do a little different, but it's more than a little. Yeah, I think that they'll be okay, though. And what about you? Are you doing a, a costume? I'm looking at a really grandeur dress. I really want to stand out. I want to be prima donna. I want 
want to be the prima donna. I'm willing to go that extra mile. I'm willing to spend that extra penny for to bring to bring the vision vision to life. What about decor? Have you thought of how you're going to kind of? Uh, decor is huge. Yeah, because it's huge. you know you're trying to reenact a time that was so rich in like architecture, it was so in rich everything. in everything. It was an opulent really? time. Really? Yeah. Do you have any ideas about the centerpiece? Are you doing big, huge flowers? Is it like? Garlands We're not really like flower, flower people. people. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So as a couple who doesn't like flowers, does that mean there's not bridal party flowers? Or... That's not part of my vision. So you're not doing a bouquet? Mm -mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a big cost saving. So ka-ching, ka-ching. My spending habits are a little bit more conservative than Isabella's for certain things. For other things, if Isabella wants it, she wants it regardless of the price. I'll, you know, rationalize with myself and maybe debate myself out of it. I think that's kind of all of the, unless you have anything else, any surprises, any like homing pigeons well, or <laughs> like... Maybe like some type of dance or some, uh, some special oh, dance yes. that comes in. The you dance have dancers, you mean? No, no, the bridal No, I think <laughs> we dancing. really want to put in we haven't the told bridal them a lot party of stuff. dancers. Yeah, yeah. Are they dancers? Nope. They're not dancers, but <laughs> dancing was a really big part in those days because that was sure all about was. the courtship, right? It, it was, was all social. about yeah. it was about all about being social. So are you saying that you'll have your bridal party learn how to do a group dance, like yes. a production? You know, like you're already asking them to dress up in costume. Yeah, we haven't well, dropped that bomb on yeah, them yet. We haven't Maybe told we'll them that. take them to a bar and get them drunk and then tell them. You better get them really drunk. Okay, like old-fashioned yeah, no, no, Italian you know drunk. Yeah. It's an My amazingly theatrical, yes. you know, kickoff to the night. Uh. I guess that leads me to kind of who's paying for what, and is this a 50-50 or? Well, I, it would be myself. You know, I've been seeing for six years, so I, I feel okay. I'm like, you know, contributing to the costs, but right yeah. now she's got the uh, I've the got a funds. lot of say. She's, so you're yeah. saying that I can make the final decisions? No. It's an amazing idea. I applaud you on, on having so much creativity and, applaud her. Thanks, you know. Thanks. Applaud her. Yeah. They give credit where credit's due. To the queen. Yes. Queen Isabella. So uh, what that brings me to is to big budget. Yes. Big, big money. Budget. The big. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? This isn't flying your guests to Venice, but Would I you? think we can get them close. <laughs> Coming up. This is what I want to do, and I think we should just do it. This is our wedding, unless you just want me to show up. I cried all the way to the church in the limo with my father, and I, um, I did cry in the church, and I actually cried on our wedding night, too, when we got you back. You told me it was because we were so happy. Uh, yeah, they were <laughs> tears of joy. What do you joy. mean you're not sure tears why Tears of you joy. <laughs> when it comes to the cost of your wedding, remember, it's cold, hard cash that talks. So I'm like, you know, contributing to the costs, but right yeah. now she's got the, uh, the I've liquid got a lot funds. Of say. And at the end of the show, we'll let you know if Isabella's final decisions were met with an icy reception. We booked the venue a long, long time before the wedding, like over, well over a year before the wedding, mm -hmm. and it was perfect. We knew we could get a deal there. It fit the theme, everything. Yeah, we could get a deal because we worked there. Yeah, that's where we met. Why not go to the place that... It all began. Yeah. This is it. I'm so this excited. Look. Magic Looks wow. nice, doesn't it? Wow. Look how much potential. Yeah. Check out the chandeliers. This is great. That's um, great. The, the walls room in are itself, great. like it has that gold touch and the rich red. You don't even have to do anything to it. You looks... still need to dress it up because it's still too bland. What are you talking about? So, it's perfect. for bland. example, <laughs> it's okay, far from doesn't say bland okay, to can me. You just speak, <laughs> speak after I've spoken. Just because I need to, to tell you okay. a few more details. There are rules. So the way I was thinking is having like perhaps two to three street lamps in here. I was also thinking as we enter through the reception area to have a backdrop. I was thinking um, theater style draping. Okay, as if you're entering into the theater. Outside, I was thinking of having the gondola with the gondolier. And I was thinking of hiring an actor to sing, you know, when he's, you know, pretend that he's actually in the canal. Yeah. Canaling away, you know? Canaling away? Is that the technical term? I was also thinking of having a lot of entertainers. 
I wanted to bring the Carnevale di Venezia here. The carnival was all about entertainment. People being wowed, jugglers. What's the signal that you're done talking and we get to talk? Come on, I said, wait, wait okay. please. Okay. So we have jugglers. And it's great, actually, because there's some tables around here, the jugglers could go around. Yeah. And I think it's going to be spectacular. I just no, want you I think to, it's, I think to, it's a to really approve. Spectacular vision. So she gave you the whole list of all the specials, and now I think we need to Cut. What, your famous budget word? Okay. We'll, we'll talk, and when we're done talking, yeah. you can talk. Oh! Sorry. Right back at ya. I'm so just a little concerned about everything going on. Maybe overkill to have a whole cast of characters and the gondola, oh. the gondolier, the right now we are double our budget. Can I speak? So, yes, of course you can speak. If you don't have those things that I mentioned happening, then you won't have that feeling. But you'll have the you music. You won't have the feeling. You'll have the yeah, music. You'll have you'll the have music, but the, it, you don't the have the really the, the visuals. Like we're trying to save here by eliminating the stuff. But, but but this is my whole idea: is that you know I'm I'm willing and I want to put in that money. It's really like my heart will really really be like Pop quiz, my, so. my heart is like going to be so happy that I'm married to you. Oh. Are you trying to pull that card? No, out? no, no I'm good not. Good one. Good no, one. No, no. This is a dream, and this dream of mine may never come true again. Oh, she so, just won my heart. Oh, let's walk. So why not? Okay. Like, it really... No, and you're not getting married again, period. I'm not getting married again, that's for sure. You know, I learned a lot about Isabella today. I learned that not only is this kind of a bride's dream come true, it's her lifelong passion. It's the road she didn't take. You know, she became a teacher instead of going on the stage. And this is her opportunity to show her family and the world that um, this is one of her dreams too. You want to spend money that, that glamorizes you. Spending money in this room, because we're going to be here for a long time, makes sense to me. So let's get the very best linen we can afford. I love the dream drapery here. I think it's very theatrical. It makes a perfect photo op. We just want to be careful that you don't cross the line into but you Sunday won't cross picnic. The line. Do you know See, what I mean? You know what? Because I'm... those entertainers you're talking about, super high end, they're like between 500 and 1,000 bucks for the night, depending on what they do. Let's meet in the middle. Let's cut something from the big dream that makes sense to everybody. The gondola and the backdrop is huge dollars. I'm willing to let go of the backdrop, even though that hurts a lot. Um, but I'm willing to let go of it and add perhaps a little bit more to the curtains so it makes even a better photo op. Okay? I'm, I'm cool with that as long as that means that we're actually saving stuff because all the compromises means nothing to me if... Uh... In my head, without a gondola, gondolier and backdrop, that's a few thousand dollars. I'm cool with this. I'm happy then. Like, to me, that's between three and four well, grand, at I'm, least. I'm a really nice person, <laughs> so I'm no, willing but... to compromise. But know that it's really dear to my heart. Like, this is, mm -hmm. like I said, this is my chance to shine. I may never have that moment again. Can you really put a price on that? You're a witness to uh, the compromise. Sounds okay. like a plan. Plan, team, oh, 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 fiddle! Go! <laughs> I think I sacrificed a lot for you that day. But the woe we had was perfect. Yeah. Just know I did a lot of sacrificing. Okay. Finding a dress was really tough and, and, and I was very particular about it because I was setting a theme and I knew that the dress had to be of period, otherwise it just wasn't gonna work out. Um, no. Nothing? Is that period? No, not even close. No. A nice one. No, I don't like that one. Come on, Isabella. You yeah, can find something here. I don't see here. anything that catches my eye. How about something that fits your budget? Hey, how are you? Hello. What are you looking for? Uh, I'm just looking around right now. She's very, she's very difficult. But it's very, very difficult. I, I can't yeah. say that for no one because yes. you know you pick it till you find the right one. No, no what? more picky. This has a lot of potential. This would have That's to true. be. This That's would have you to like. come in like corset style. You could do modifications. Can you add to the dress? Why don't you try it on please. first? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then she can. Yeah, yeah, you can tell to me after. How much is this dress? Uh, let's see if she likes first, and after we talk for price. Yeah, so how much is it now, though? How much are you right selling it like this? Right now it's seventeen hundred. Seventeen. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Well, with you. As long you're happy, I'll make you happy too. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. At this point, I need to be happy. I know what would make David happy: keeping the cost down. Mom, are you ready? Come on okay. out. Okay. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. <laughs> Mother, it's okay. <laughs> You yes. know what? I really like it. And this gorgeous right. dress. It's gonna look like you pay $10,000 the dress at the end. I don't yes. think I want to try on another one. 
Take a bow to the perfect dress at the perfect price. After having gone for my final dress fitting, I tried it on and I thought, wow, this is much better than I thought, and it's going to work. It was a nice dress, I bet. Thanks. How much did you like it? Scale of 1 to 10? Yeah. 11. It was nice. Oh, really? Oh. So then I met your expectations? You exceeded my oh, expectations. That's very nice of you. Oh, anytime. Thank you. Oh. Decor was really big for me, and um, DC bought us to a great place that had so many different items to choose from. So I'm really happy that he brought us there. Um, obviously, they've picked a really big theme. Mm -hmm. You know, there are themes that are small and themes that are really, really big. So yeah. Venice is big. <laughs> <laughs> big church, big flowers, big <laughs> hair. Um, that's right. That's right. It's going to be a lot of big. Okay. So let's start with linen and, and centerpiece yep. and be as royal as we can be. OK, so here's some ideas for what we thought. Because it does have a Venetian theme in the venue, like you said, you don't want to sort of clash with that. So you want it to blend nicely and not fight it, you which you can I do. I really like the tapestry. You like that one? I do. Well, tapestry was percent? really big in the 18th century. Really big. Like, this would have been hanging on walls, too, right? I mean, this is... Oh, yeah. Very nice. And this would For be the, the napkin? Yeah, I think I yeah. would go with the gold napkin. So pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Are we at the very top of your price point? This is the top. This is a high-end linen. Surprise, surprise. How did you, I know? Yeah, exactly. If you want the right <laughs> look to go with your right theme... What are we talking kind of per cloth? Around the $25 mark. If and we're so actually that. committing to that, we're committing to... A lot of money. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. If that's not the end of the world, then this might be. We would do oh, these in two tiers. That's really nice. <laughs> Stunning. Oops. Yeah. So we would do this with the taller candelabra, and we'd also do a shorter one. Right. Same style, everything right. the same, but just add a little that's bit of a really visual pretty. to it. Uh, price point in the centerpiece, are we at the very top of our game? Or is there an option beyond this that we should be looking at? You're not looking at an overly high centerpiece right. cost. Right. So what are we talking about here? You're probably looking between 75 and 125 per table. <laughs> and how many tables are you doing? 30. Five well, now? 30? 35? <laughs> No, five. No. Oh. <laughs> um, it's a stand-up function. That's yeah. right. 30. 30 to 35. 30. I really, really like this. Mm -hmm. I think we should go for this one. We haven't seen everything yet, though. I know, but I love it. Just for the table, the napkins, and the thing, we're somewhere between three and $4,000. Uh, 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 and you want more? Decor is a big part when you're doing a theme wedding. It's the yeah. most, it is the biggest part of, of a budget when you're doing a theme wedding. So <laughs> I'm getting a little concerned here, OK? If we're already three, four grand, what are we going to look at with all this other stuff that you guys keep on throwing in? This is what I want to do. This is what we want to do. And, and I think we should just do it. I think you either got to do it yes. or don't. Mm -hmm. right, you got to bring it to the table and say, this is it, and you're yeah. going to Venice. Mm -hmm. or there's no point to do a themed wedding along that line. You picked a big theme. I've saved. I've saved enough. Six long years. <laughs> right? Right. I'm willing to pay for what it costs for uh, the decor. What happened to I me? saved up. This is our wedding, unless you just want me to show up. No, I don't want you to show up. It's my money. <sighs> I can do whatever I want with it. No, no. <laughs> Nice. We're totally in this together. He's going to be a realist. You're going to be a dreamer. And that's what's going to make your relationship so amazing for the rest of your life, is that you'll I'll can... dream it, and he will bring me down. Oh, oh. Do we'll make it happen. Real. And we'll make it happen. <laughs> yeah. and Crush it. Coming right. up. You're going to be wearing a <laughs> pantyhose. Oh, my God. Thank God, God I'm a girl. The <laughs> uh, rings. We just couldn't afford to get decent rings, so we went to one of the discount department stores and got two rings for about five dollars each and they look great while planning your wedding you may get a glimpse of what your married life will be like this is our wedding it's my money <sighs> i can do whatever i want with it no no <laughs> and later in the show we'll let you know if isabella and david went over budget or were able to make ends meet when we asked our bridal party to be in our bridal party, they had an idea of what was happening with the theme and everything, but they didn't really know it. So we decided to have a barbecue just to, you know, bring them up to speed. OK, thank you, everyone, for coming. Thanks for agreeing to be in our bridal party. Now, uh, we told you guys that uh, it's going to be a themed wedding, but we haven't told you everything about the theme yet. 
Okay, so there's this vision that I have. It's going to be an 18th century theme. So what we want to do is we really want to bring Venice, the theme here. So uh, we're going to go to the church in a gondola? Maybe not. But <laughs> we do have a lot of plans. So 18th century Venetian mask ball. Think about the eloquence and the, the elegance of that era. Basically, we're telling you guys are being dressed up in theme. What do you mean by what dressed mean by up theme? in theme? In order to do the costumes justice, we have a surprise for you. Yeah. Danny, Sarah! Oh my complete. god! <laughs> Here's history in the making. Oh, oh, wow. right. oh my god. Oh my god, thank god I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you that's look a, that's a, that's gorgeous. Pretty. That's a little small on Danny. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Oh, the sleeves are a little smaller. Your budget, what's your show? Ladies, corsets. Three quarter length sleeves. Uh, I'm gonna look so, like a circus So tent. it's gonna be uh, long and heavy? You know what? It's not gonna be long and heavy. No, no. They're gonna, they're gonna be lighter. They're gonna be lighter. Thank Guys, you you're gonna be wearing uh, pantyhose. Pantyhose! <laughs> Very close to pantyhose. Yeah, breeches. Breeches. So they're gonna come down to just below the knee. Yes. And you're gonna be wearing the long socks that come just above the knee. So you guys are gonna be basically dressing okay, like so you always you dress. You know what? I found a costumier who's um, willing to fit to your measurements, but we'll rent them out. So we have to rent wow. these things? Can you come? Yes. And how much is it gonna cost? Between 125 to 150. So but we, we don't, don't get that, to keep it. Keep you don't it. get so. to keep it. The, the, the question is, though, becomes, if you did keep it, where would you wear it again? Uh, it's like a rental of a tuxedo. Yeah. So can I just ask, do we have to wear this all day, like from when you get married yes. to? Yes, we would like that. In the all church? church. We're going like from that. church and all. We just wanted to introduce to you the theme. We want to show you that this is the costumes that you will be wearing. Give or take, it's going to be slightly different. Everybody will have different colors. Male and female will match, though. So what do you guys think? That looks Can like we wear masks? Are, we are bringing masks into the equation. I don't want anybody to know what's me. <laughs> I, I really think they were like, are you joking? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Not me, everyone. breeches, high socks, mm-mm. The next time they're asked to be in a bridal party, they're probably going to ask a few more questions as to what it entails. <laughs> probably. <laughs> DC brought us to, um, to a mask shop. You know, when I arrived there, if there's such a thing, I was in mask heaven, really. Look at the mask. A huge part of the theme and a part of that era, of course, oh, at a ball mask. were masks, as you said, right? Mm -hmm. So this... These are really, really, really nice. I like well, this one. Will this one actually fit my face? Yeah, it'll fit. Make it fit. Okay. Look how beautiful that is. Sideways profile. Oh, perfect. This is gorgeous. That one. Oh, wow. This one for sure. For you right now, for me. That's yeah, for me. So oh, it's this stunning. one. This one's mine. Yeah, I'm just looking at this it. This one's Absolutely mine. It's nice. I love the music on that one. Let me see. Oh, totally. Put that one on. Oh, yeah. Oh, it feels really nice. This makes a statement for sure. What's the statement? The statement is here comes the handsome man. Oh. Then why is he wearing a mask? Best not to ask those questions, David. Yeah, let's, let's you're, you have to be a uh, mysterious man. Okay, that's the one. That's one for that's David. Fine. Let's talk dollars. Now this is like $125. That's fine. All right, so we have your mask, we okay, have for his sure, mask. For sure, for so, sure. Um, did you talk once about masks like, for your guests? You know, for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are $125 a person. We have like 200 guests. Right, I understand. That's not in the budget. <laughs> no, yeah, no, that's, that's, <laughs> Sorry. that's, that's no, uh, uh, even a point of discussion. That's, no, it's not happening. Okay, you make sense, that's right, okay. Or but, we could not give them a but, mask. <laughs> like if we do one for every person, you don't want to spend more than $20 maximum. Oh. Maximum, you know, I mean, but that's a bon bon yeti. Like you want to, again, honor your guests exactly. for coming. Yeah. And for the people who don't wear costumes, mm -hmm. you want them to have like a, a sprinkling of something, you know, yeah. so. True. Well, Acme. we should have a dollar figure going in about how much we want to spend on a gift. Like, how many gifts are you giving? A total Maybe budget figure for divided like by that. You know, like 100 times if we do $10 each. That's pretty good. These are gorgeous masks. Selection. It's true. They're, they're, they are. They look like they're all they're handmade. They're amazing. Then I'm going to source it out. You think you can get them? Yes. For cheaper? I'm telling you, I, I work magic. Like, make money disappear. Keep in mind the numbers, please, OK? I do magic tricks. I'll do your tricks, but just make sure it's I'll the do time magic to bring tricks. numbers down. Don't worry, don't worry. I was 
worried. Yeah, I think they come in one, two, three, four, five. Come over here and look wow. at the masks. Oh, wow. Uh, Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Okay. So where'd they come from? I just, what? I thought we were going to research and discuss, not research. No, I thought, well, No. I, I misunderstood. I thought that um, I could go ahead and buy them. But do you like them? Uh, how much did they cost? You know what? I did a really good price on these. You're worrying me. No, I did a really good price. How You'll much? be shocked. These were $3.25 each. Wow. Like, that's just amazing. $3.25, I think that fits in the budget. That's I think actually, that's, that's actually... Super good. How many did you get? I think about 120. Are you trying to make some calculations in that's your head? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's very good. I told you that good I would job. do a good job. I think the masks were a hit. I by think far. everyone loved them. I really wanted the bridal party to do a Venetian dance. Again, I wanted to bring in that feel of grandeur, of spectacular. And we hired choreographers. They taught the dance, and then after that, oh, they need a lot a of practice. We spent a lot of time arguing, because everyone had their own idea of what the dance was supposed to be like. OK, here we go. Last part. And one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Forward, Forward back. Backwards, and go turn around. Forward, now turn. That was brutal. Um, I, I think we've seen a lot better, right, Jenny? The second movement is rusty, the third movement is super rusty, and the, and the fourth, fourth movement is crazy. Stock. Well, we've had three weeks off. We're a little bit rusty. Yo. Do you know what I think? I think that we should not start from the beginning, but we should start from the first movement. I you're think gonna you're confusing a lot of people start here. Start at the so. curtsy. Chennai, you're gonna get one of these. <laughs> Come on now. No, seriously. Rusty, rusty. Well, I think you're being a bit bossy, and we've hadn't had We've had three weeks off. Who's so bossy? You're bossy. I'm yeah, not bossy. Okay, that's enough. Come on, girls. Time is money. My sister Jenny, I think, really put, pushed my buttons and was making me seem like this evil, nasty person. And so, you know what? I felt kind of uncomfortable. You need some organization. We have no idea what we're doing. What do you mean? Already, we already have organization. Yeah. It doesn't look like we have organization. My partner and I don't know what we're doing. They're doing what they're doing. Because you're not listening. <gasps> Mother? Yes. Yeah. Well, you, you never listen anyway to each other. You always. Okay, everybody who's confident, have a seat. And the rest of you, we will work on you. Everyone should just do it again. You watch just everybody. Meditation. I've already watched everybody. Well, obviously, okay. we're not doing something During right. Time, no, it's, it's they have to practice. These six steps. It's because, Isabel, they've never been here I to know. see the last step. So I think you should show them. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, the last yeah but not show them all together. It's confusing. <laughs> last I don't understand. Movement. We'll do the last <laughs> movement. OK, why don't we do this? Okay. Yeah. Because you're being a bossy no, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. You I'm teach them. OK, I will. You want me to teach them, I can teach them. All right. Isabella was pretty firm and strict in my eyes. There was time that I was like, you know, these people are doing a lot for us, you know, kind of pull it back, respect that. But, but I think there was a point where that needed to be done because then, you know, maybe that's the teacher in me. Maybe. Yeah, actually, that is the teacher in me. Coming up. It's Has anybody seen the costume, lady? It's where are the costumes? Yeah. It was probably one of the happiest days of my life, um, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> 37 very, years later, I don't Very special. <laughs> when it comes to the costs of your wedding, some expenses may be cleverly disguised. Um, did you talk once about masks like, for your guests? Whoa, 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 whoa. These are $125 a person. We have like 200 guests. And at the end of the show, we'll reveal if the gifts to the guests were no favor to the budget. DC bought us in for a budget reality check. I wasn't worried at all, but uh, I you? still had it in the back of my mind. All about the budget. I made it happen. You should have married the budget. No, I married you, Bill. OK, you guys, so here we are. We're really close. And we just want to get an idea right now of where we stand budget-wise. Just make sure that we're all on our track. Are we over? Are we under? So tell me, in your estimation, are there any kind of big chunks where we're over? You made some good concessions, so that kind of brought us down under the line again, according to the numbers I'm seeing. That's how I feel. I just want to, yeah. I just want to make sure it feels like everything so far is kind of in line. Mm -hmm. There's room now for 
you know, for other things to happen. Just because you save money somewhere doesn't mean you, you should it. necessarily spend yes. it somewhere else. Thank you, you know what I mean? Because there are still surprises to come along. That's like, my th worry. There are things that can happen at the 11th hour, and I mean 11.30, that you never thought of that all of a sudden you need a slush fund for. Right now in your budget, you don't have a contingency fund. Like, there's no kind of line item that covers emergencies. I don't think we need a contingency, contingency oh, no, we fund. we totally need a contingency fund. See, I don't see it in that way. I see it, we have a set budget, and let's work towards that budget. I know we saved thousands of dollars. We're talking about a dream that I have. Because we have that money, I'd really like to use it towards entertainment. Well, how much do you want to spend extra on entertainment? Watch. No, I'm not going to watch you spend it. I want to know how much you want to spend. But I really would love to have like four entertainers okay. total. What? Four. You know, go roaming around. I think that's around. a little excessive. Four? Really, it's not excessive because you're talking about in those, in that time. In those days, there they was had like, what? What? Hundreds. What they have? Hundreds. Hundreds? One yeah. per guest? Where can you find a skilled popper when you need one? If we cross a line into, da, 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 la, la, you know, like, it's like gonna crazy, you know. Turn into that. You know, like, it's just. Are we going to have the clown with the popcorn no station, like, yes, handing out like the little clowns. bags? Come on, be serious. <laughs> How about two? You said you wanted two. even. Two. We want quality over quantity, and right. sometimes quality is more expensive. I, I didn't even think about that, but I would prefer to have quality entertainers. Let's see who's available. Let's see what All they right. cost. Okay. I'm up for that. You see? I'm very flexible. So am I. You know what I could do? I could be one of the mimes for really cheap. And look. Ten dollars? <laughs> oh, see? Very good. Nice. <laughs> we could have added a few more things. But you know we what? We didn't. And I'm but I'm really happy the way things turned out. So I, I don't regret it at all. We had a final costume fitting set up. We were bringing in pretty much the whole bridal party. Right. And it was to be final. But That's, it, it became evident that it was nowhere close to being even that. Oh! I'll take your camera. Wow. Step up on this thing. It's right? gorgeous. I love the color. I'm not finished though. I need like Oh my gosh, Lou. That is fantastic. Wow. Oh my gosh, this I really so love pretty. it. I don't know how we can go to the bathroom. That's my biggest concern. There are some sacrifices one has to make. Here we go. Here it comes. Oh! Yay! I'm Okay, colors are awesome, but Anthony, I think your jacket's too big. Oh! Mine's 50% off. The one arm. <laughs> uh, it feels like there's a lot to do. So how, how long do you think this will take to? I think John Paul needs uh, shoulder pads. Uh, Conrad needs a sleeve. Well, okay, Conrad needs a lot, don't worry. This is not even sewn on. I'm getting a choker, too. Yeah, okay. I'm getting the choker, I'm getting yeah. that piece, I'm getting the flower here. Oh, so <laughs> how, how many more dresses are there? There's... There's another... Uh, three. Is with the alterations still need to be done, when do you think approximate time of readiness will be? It can be done by Monday. So um, know... Monday, is that okay? Well, because we want to practice yeah. the dancing with this. So this is complete. It has to be completely finished, right? Mm -hmm. We're in a spectrum of ready between very, very close and very, very far away. So all we need is assurance that on Monday for their dress rehearsal they'll be done. And can you be there for the dress rehearsal? Or could, yeah. Great. They're so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you must be so happy. Mm -hmm. And we'll just um, we'll just look forward to Monday when they're all finished. Yeah. Yeah. So close to the wedding, and those costumes weren't ready, and there was, was like so much week. to do. We had like it a week. It was so much to do, so it really, it's all I could think about. The dress dance rehearsal, um, I think for me, was a very stressful period. I think that day all our worries <sighs> just kind of like balled themselves out and decided to explode on that one day. Yeah. Thank we goodness for DC because I think we would have just been, we both would have blown up. It was basically oh. like a nightmare that it day. It was. Where are the costumes? Yeah. What? Um, it's Has seven, anybody seen the costume lady? It's um, 7.15 and she's still not here. Has anyone called her? I yes. could have told you this was going to happen. 
You know what, there's nothing we can do. I'm very upset, but we... don't get upset. It's yeah, not worth That's getting upset over. It's not worth totally getting upset. Totally not worth getting upset over. I do, I do. It actually is worth getting upset over, actually. No, David, it's not. Well, it's, it's just, you It's know. disappointing, you see, you but it's not. You see the quality of the desks, and you see they're fantastic. Yeah. It's just the timing. But you know what, we have like five days. Right. It's gonna, get, gonna get done. If I have to sew them myself, I will get, <laughs> like honestly, it's not worth getting upset over because we're getting married! Conrad. Yay! Conrad can sew. Yay, Conrad can sew, he can see? Can so let's sew let's sew. rehearse without the costumes. There's always and a glue gun. Stay happy and... And cue the costume lady. Finally. How are you? Oh, this is great. Good, good. She's really concerned about the finishedness of it all. So if you tell me not to be concerned, I won't be concerned. Don't be concerned. I just want a happy bride, and yeah, what's gonna make her happy, happy is to see it finished she's and so she can with sleep, all the you know. Colors and everything yeah, is, no, I yeah. think they're beautiful. So guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get completely changed as fast as we can, and then we'll make a list of every single item that's maybe not done, but more is done than not done. Now it's wedding planner David's time to navigate the canals. Um, the shirt's missing the whole top part too. Shirt collar. Shirt collar, yeah. Completely missing. He can't button his buttons because the holes are not <laughs> cut. cut. Still? <laughs> Crap. Okay, so Anthony's shirt doesn't fit. <laughs> Is there a stain on this, or is it just my imagination? No, there's a yeah. stain right here. Oh, yeah, that's a stain. A stain. Yeah. Yeah. DC, yeah. can you come here? Because we have uh, an extra added long list. Ooh. Making me sweat. We're missing four chokers. Four, four chokers. OK, we should identify who they are. This is so frustrating. This is Monday. Oh, we should be ready. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh. No, but I don't have any pennies. You're st you're, I think he's more stressed than yes, you are, he is a little stressed. bit. Well, like, I just do the, the bulk of the bulk of it's done, but remember the uh, the devil's in the details. Oh, I'm with you on so, that. But I just don't want you to well, worry on your wedding week and know that I've got your back and I've got no, safety pins and I've got but hot glue. And this is a thing giving me stress right now. Okay, don't worry. You pick a big theme wedding, well, then your list of possible problems gets longer. Do you know what I mean? But the rewards are bigger. If no it one's comes to gonna. Completion. It's gonna come to completion. Do you see three jackets out there? I will. I will make jackets out of curtains on the morning of if I have to. Coming up. This morning was pretty hectic. It was a lot of girls, a lot of fabric, a lot of fasteners and Velcro and hoops and crinolines. Our wedding day was a disaster. That's right. It's a total disaster. Like big time disaster. It. It just. Poured down while we were. It we stormed. Were, yeah. It didn't rain. It stormed, and it was outdoors we by the bay. When planning a wedding, it's important to expect the unexpected. Surprises are still to come. I don't think we need a contingency contingency fund. Oh no, we fund. totally need a contingency fund. And at the end of the show, we'll let you know if the sum of this couple's fears added up to something bigger than their budget. I woke up. Um, feeling really good. I actually was not nervous at all. I had no butterflies. I was ready to get married. To some good times, maybe. Be... While the girls practiced their moves, the hair got even higher, and our bride had only one concern. I'm not really happy with the ribbon. Oh, Can we oh, half it? This yeah, one is nice. Don't bridal. you like this one? That's more bridal? Yeah. OK. I prefer that one. OK, what's happening here? Jenny, you're not liking it. OK, Jenny's not liking it's it. And no. yeah. Your dress is ivory, so this yeah. is even better. Yeah. OK, that's good, Carmen. When in Venice, do as the Venetians do. To be completely honest, I actually wasn't thinking how your morning was going. I was pretty much focused on how mine was going. Oh, so you didn't even think about me or us at all? No, I thought, yeah, of course I did. We were getting married, but I was more like, uh, you know, everything's probably going as well for them as it is for me. Where is my scepter? Where's the scepter? Where's the scepter? Scepter. Watch out, Isabella. Here comes your groom. Let's go, boys. With their cooler full of treasure, the guys were ready for just about anything. Boys, it's a nice bus. It's a very nice bus. We'll just take it. Did you bring the, the needle and thread, Jenny's? I brought them. Beautiful. Okay. I brought them.
While they did some sewing and tried to motor on to the wedding, planner David Conley tried to keep things calm. This morning was pretty hectic. It was a lot of girls, a lot of fabric, a lot of fasteners and Velcro and hoops and crinolines and um, some missing pieces, a lot of hair. Some of it was real. I, I need to get the... You don't have a choker. Are you joking me? Well, I have to look back, but I no, didn't see you a choker. There we go, perfect. No choker for Nancy, like that. No choker? Like, did she take everything? Because if yeah, she, did, she take did take everything, everything, then then she has the choker. We'll make one, don't worry. That's why we like you, DC. <laughs> you calm it down. Well, you have nothing to worry about. True, and our bride, like a true lady in waiting, has a room full of people to dress her. She needs your shoes. Why does mommy do the shoes? Mom. You want it in your hand? Yours. You know what I need? Shoehorns. Where's the shoe one? Don't have it. Here, I'll go get us. Got it. Go get us. Got it. Got it. We can put these on. Totally feel like that era. You've got like 80 million people working on you. And with all of the final touches completed, Lady Isabella was ready to meet her Venetian prince. When I was standing at the altar waiting for Isabella, I was kind of like, you know, all mixed emotions. I wasn't focused on the, the theme anymore. I wasn't focused on everyone in the, the pews in the church looking on. I was focused on you and what I was saying. I, David, take you, Isabella, to be my wife. I will love you and honor you whew, all the days of my life. I, Isabella, take you, David, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in sickness and in health. Just the bride. Coming up. Ready? Oh my God. I was quite happy that the... I showed up. I was quite happy that you showed up, yeah. You know, I was, uh, I had somebody following her just in case she decided not to. <laughs> when it comes to weddings, the bride should take full advantage of her special day. Totally feel like that era. You've got like 80 million people working on you. Right. Soon, we'll reveal if taking full advantage meant paying the full price. Going into that reception hall and seeing everything put all together, it really just blew me away. Ready? Dun, da, da, da. Oh my God, Ooh. that is awesome. Oh, oh now this is what you call chic. Isn't it beautiful? Well done. Oh. Hi. This is gorgeous. Hey, they put the mask on the lady. Oh, that's gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? Who that mask is very expensive, but it think be taking care of that one there. Paolo, how are you? Look at the wow. wine station. Oh, that is awesome. Wow. The secrets of the mask wedding planner have been revealed. And now, on with the ball. From an elegant group dance to the magical couple of the evening. The Venetian ball was filled with a magnificent feast and a room full of dancing that continued on into the night. It was worth every penny. It was worth every and penny. And more, and more. Unbelievable. But will you be able to believe this? So the original budget that we handed David Conley was $55,000. My bridal hair, which was really amazing, I had totally fallen in love with that hair, came out to $200.
All our masks, ours, bridal parties, and all the party favors came out to $1,700. My stunning bridal gown, which I think truly um, uh, made the entire day, um, including all of my accessories, the feathers in my hair, the jewelry, and the handmade shoes, came out to an amazing price of $2,815. David Connolly's services, which were much needed and we couldn't have done it without him. His fee came out to $3,000. Okay, so we come to decor, my specialty. Um, you know, everything, I, and, I, and I told them, don't worry, trust me. Everything came out amazing. And, um, you know, we probably could have gone, spent a little bit more money, because the cost was $5,400. The venue where we had the wedding, we couldn't have chosen a better place. It fit the theme theme perfectly, and it came out to $33,800. All of our miscellaneous items, including the cake, which was beautiful, um, including our photographer, who, um, what, they were awesome, and including the transportation, our limo bus, came out to $8,036. What we actually spent on the wedding was $54,900. $51. Putting us under by $49. Yeah. Give five. Put it there. Anyways, so what are we gonna do with money? We're gonna save it. Why? The guests were dressed in costume, the bride had her moment to shine, and their budget was intact. The only question left is, is this another period dance? Back then, I thought, what a beautiful gown. Right. And when you look back, oh my god, it's hideous. She keeps the marriage alive. <laughs> All right, let's keep it together. Well, same thing, isn't it? No. Ah, that's going to leave a mark.